What's up you guys, in today's video we are going to be making some delicious smoked chicken drumsticks. This is going to be a simple cook. We are smoking these at 275 degrees using hickory pellets. We're just using a basic salt and pepper rub with a little bit of barbecue seasoning, smoking it for about an hour, hour and 10 minutes, dunking it in some delicious glaze, and then we're going to get fat and happy. So the very first thing that we need to do is prepare our chicken for the seasoning. And we are going to do that by patting it dry. Today we are using two seasonings. We're gonna start off with a basic salt, pepper, garlic by Kinders. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give us salt, pepper, and garlic, which is a really good base layer for chicken. Get some of those good herbs on there. It's gonna give a nice undertone that just really great flavor that chicken needs. Now that we have our salt, pepper, garlic on our chicken, we are gonna come back over it with the barbecue blend by Kinders. If you don't have this barbecue blend, you could use any one that you want that you already have in your pantry. But the goal here is to get a good barbecue flavor, which typically consists of onion powder. You're gonna have your garlic powders, your paprikas, some of your herbs in there. And it's also gonna give your chicken that nice reddish oranges color that I love on barbecue chicken. Now that our chicken is seasoned, we are out here at our smoker. I have it cranked up to 275 degrees and I am using hickory pellets. Hickory is probably one of my favorite woods to use for chicken. I just love the smoke flavor that it puts in there. We're just gonna get them placed on here, nice and even. We want to have them equally spaced apart so that way smoke could flow through them. So now all we're gonna let this do is hang out for a total of one hour. We're gonna come back out, get our temperature reading and see if we're close to glazing or not. I'll see you guys then. We're now at the one hour mark on our smoked chicken legs. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna open up the smoker. I'm gonna take my thermo pen and I'm gonna get a temperature reading just to see where we're at to get an idea if we're close to glazing or not. Smoked chicken legs or drumsticks, I typically like to run them past 175 degrees, somewhere around 185, 190. So I'm gonna glaze at about the 165, 170 mark. So then it'll take about 10 to 15 minutes to get up to that desired 185 degrees. So whenever I'm making a glaze for the chicken that I'm smoking, I like it to be really runny. If you just use barbecue sauce straight out of a bottle, it's gonna be really thick and then it's not really gonna caramelize onto the chicken. The thinner, the better. So today I'm using about one to two ounces of apple juice, just as a thinner, you could use pineapple juice, any kind of juice that you want. And then I'm using a 16 ounce bottle of this mild barbecue sauce from Kinder's. We're gonna mix them together in some sort of jar that has a wide opening. That way when we go to dunk our chicken in, it's not gonna overflow. Now that our glaze is done, we're gonna go out to the smoker to get these glazed up. Now that our chicken is glazed and on the smoker, we only wanna have it on there for about 10 to 15 to 20 minutes. If you let it go any longer, the sugars in your sauce are gonna to start to burn and you're gonna get a really bad taste. The goal is to get it caramelized. We don't want it runny. We want it to just kind of thicken up and really stick to that chicken about 15 to 20 minutes. And we wanna make sure we're pulling it off at around 185, 190 degrees. That way all of the tendons and all those ligaments and stuff that is in that chicken gets broken down, that fat is nice and rendered, and our final product is juicy chicken. So I'll see you guys at the dinner table. So guys, here we go. We got these amazing looking chicken drumsticks here. And there's one pro tip that I wanted to share with you that I forgot to mention earlier. Whenever you go to glaze these chicken drumsticks, you wanna make sure whatever you're using to dunk them in is hot. If you've had your barbecue sauce in the fridge and your apple juice in the fridge and you go to dunk these in there, it's actually gonna lower the internal temperature of your chicken by quite a few degrees. 
and make this cook a lot longer. So these chicken drumsticks look nice and caramelized. I can feel the skin. It looks good and crispy. I'm really excited with the way that these turned out. It's been a long time since I've made a video, guys, and I am just so happy to be back in the kitchen. I feel fat and happy. I feel like there's nothing left to do than just take a bite. Mm. One of the very first flavors that I was able to taste when I tried this chicken was the smoke. Hickory smoke on chicken is lovely, especially at 275 degrees. I think it leaves the chicken in there just long enough to get a really good smoke flavor that's more of an undertone rather than just smoking out the chicken and making it kind of get like that bitter rancid flavor that really just isn't good when you're eating smoked foods. Next up, my lips got nice and sticky with this caramelized glaze on here. I tasted a lot of the salt, the pepper, the paprika, some of those nice herbs and blends on this chicken. Overall, if you guys make this for your family and friends, it's a winner winner chicken dinner. If you guys wanna follow this recipe, I'll make sure that I leave the recipe down below in the description. I'll also make sure I link all the products that I use, like my thermometer, the rubs, and the sauces. These chicken drumsticks are amazing. I also have another amazing chicken recipe. You can go ahead and click this video right here. I'll see you guys in the next video.